So in microservices communication, we are looking into Spring REST template. We have already uploaded, uploaded the first video. If you have not watched the first video, you should go and watch that first video, which covers the very basics. What is Spring REST template, right? So it has very fine details about HTTP entity headers and why it is used, right? So you go and watch that video before looking into this if you are new to Spring REST template, okay? So in this video, uh, we have covered why do we need REST template? There are many services they need to communicate each other, okay? To enable the kind of service they are and fulfill the application, so they need to enable each other. They need to communicate to each other. And here we are uh, looking to different REST template methods that are there. So first we are covering the exchange method. So in first video I have covered the get first get call when your external service is returning a single user. Okay single object so this is the scope of the uh, this current video we will cover we will finish this exchange method then we will be mo moving to the next months get for entity and get for object so let's go ahead and move to the project part user management client that we have so this is the project that we have made user management client and this is the main method and this is called in this method and this is creating the headers and setting the content type that it has and creating the HTTP entity object and passing this to this method. I have created this multiple method just to make it modular and more readable. Okay, it is explicitly saying get single user by exchange method. So it is going to return a single user from the exchange method and it is the get call. Okay, so this is the thing that it is doing. So next we are going, we are going ahead and uh, what is the next one? So we you we have called this API this endpoint and next we are going to call list of users that are there so this get mapping user which is returning list of user right it is returning list so I'm going to call it okay so how do we do that so let me copy this method because uh, this is going to be the same okay get single i'm changing the name list users and i'm going to call this from here okay and passing the request entity so request entity what it holds the media type content type and all these stuffs will be same okay only we are going to change what we are going to change that is the uh, point of matter so we are going to here we are we were calling this user file okay so we have base url till spring data demo context path so i have to just append the exact endpoint that we want to call okay so for list of user we have endpoint like this users so it will make the actual url uh, like http localhost port that you have data demo and will append users inside that end so it is the get call so we will keep this http method and request entity we are keeping this so let's keep the return type as string so let's see how it we have so the endpoint is going to return the list of users that are there so it can convert that list of users into string form by appending that individual values that are there that are object are there so i can get that in a string as well also so let's go ahead and uh, run this one uh, with this string return type as it is okay and see how it is uh, behaving how it is printing the values okay yes so it it has hit the endpoint this users and this uh, all details that rest template is returning okay reading to this this is string to this and response body is this status okay and headers are there so main point here is to look into the response body if i take this entire one uh, copy this one and uh, if i go and search for online json formatter so i can properly format that one and see what it is returning so yeah you see it it is the list one okay so big bracket this this one it's showing that it is it contains the list of object and inside curly braces we have single object right so if i process this one then i can get the proposition format like how it is so i can see this how many it is returning the list of object for me okay so that's it so this thing we wanted we were expecting right and if i go uh, here and see it has also hit this and it is returning the user same by 
by executing this call okay so it is i know that is the list of users list of one so if what if i want to get the list so that is also not a problem i can get that you just have to mention the list here so i can play around with the return type that it had so same list also i have to print it here so what it will do this time it is it will return the list of objects and what are those those are this only so it the output will be same but that will be in the list format okay let's go ahead and execute this and see the response okay yeah same output i got right so i can get that so so this was about hitting the get endpoint that we have a single user as well as list user next we are going ahead and we are going to call post endpoint that is creating a new user from here so let me go ahead and create a new user object okay so so all these details i want to set so id will be inferred by the r api directly because it is auto generated so id i do not need to mention okay so next i have to make the request entity that we made as the entity here i have to change that request entity into new one where i have to introduce the body also if you remember the first one first lesson i have explained to you why do i need body headers is needed when you are doing only the get call but when you are going to add something into the third party third service you have to send that through post call okay so i can do that by sending in body okay so that i can do by creating the new http entity by sending this user sys user and headers okay and if i go to constructor of this http entity so it is body and it is headers that is multi value map okay so let's go come back here this is the request entity and now i have to create this method okay let's create it and copy this call from here and we will modify the details here only so that we can relate the things easily okay so this request entity is coming so base url base url this time will be user so if i see here the spring data demo for the post call post mapping we have endpoint as user base url it same this needs to be changed now post okay a request entity also has changed because we have changed this one here by call by call by calling this method okay and this return type what it should be let's see what it is returning right it is returning a simple uh, response entity object and this one so this created id so i can keep it string for simplicity because automatically anything that is being returned by that side gets converted into json and json that is we can consider that into user okay so i can say a string user i can say details so if you remember the return type of that is response entity which is returning a lot a lot, a lot of details like uh, the url from where it has created at which place it is created that is being written by that post call okay so we will see what it is printing here so we are done here exchange we have changed the post call and we have changed the return type status code it will return we will get the body and we will get the headers and let's go ahead and execute this and see what it is returning so to see the response of that i am commenting it out also and it will do this only now okay adding the object into third party so let me go to run mode here and clear this out so that we can see the console and check if it is hitting the user or not so it is calling so if everything goes fine it should work okay yeah response we got writing it is making the http post call okay it is accepting this json and all and writing this user id null first name this last name this gender this address noida okay so all these details it is writing so why gender is null because we have not mentioned here gender only first name last name and all these details are here 
so this first name we repeated actually with this one that is why Arbind is overridden by this uh, M so I can change this to gender and next time we make call we can see that actual call okay that is it that is not an issue it is going sending some object that our third party service is adding okay so I got it respond 201 means created so get call if you remember you are getting the response as 200 200 means okay so what you are returning it returned properly that so response body is null it is not returning any response body but inside header right so whatever it is returning it is coming as header so location i can get here and content length is here, this 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 so if i hit this url i can get the this user that it has uh, entered okay so let me go ahead and hit this and i get this right user with id 20 i got it right so id i was sending null but it determine that automatically and first name m last name this gender null and address null i got it so data is added properly into the system okay so if i have changed this gender properly so let's go ahead and hit it again and see the proper so next id will be 21 so 21 should be created so yeah 201 created and 21 i got it right first name id null last name properly it is coming so if i go ahead and change this to 21 i'll get the response proper okay and if i go to the sprint data demo demo so it is creating creating this id 21 and all this right post we have added user also let's go ahead and update a user okay so for update what we have to do uh, let's see here we have to call the put mapping okay so it is returning address updated so whatever we have we will send the uh, by id and new address it will be updated okay so let's go ahead and quickly add that method so method so we have done a uh, get and post call that so the lab put one should be fairly easy okay so i'm going to create a new method add user by exchange method so next i'm going to call update user so i'm going to create this method void this http request entity it is sending so so I do not have to send this sys user in this update call so I can just comment it out that is not an issue we will use this that is sending the header only okay so I am taking this here okay so this time base URL I have to change so what is the base URL it has put mapping as update address okay and next it is sending the id that you want to change so suppose latest we have added 21 so let's i want to change the id with 21 what address new address i want it is noida so let's change it to Delhi. so it should change that and reflect that so http method post then i make this put so that update request is honored properly okay so return type I have to change it to string because return type is a string and here also that's it we are done so with, sing with single exchange method we change the base url http method and then status code and user detail header let's see what it is returning okay so for update call let's comment it out the previous one so that we can see this update call only right so we are done so let's execute this okay 200 okay reading to this 200 okay this is making this put call i got address updated and response address i got it and if i go to hit this 21 i should be able to see the new address here i can see 20 right so update call is also fairly easy i can do this by this one so we are now left with last one that is delete call okay so let's go ahead and do that also so I'm going ahead and copying this one and I'm going to copy the same content here and we will do the required changes so that we can relate it easily. So for the de delete one we have what URL we have let's see. So we have get mapping get mapping and we have here delete mapping. So user and ID that we have we have to pass that and will it will de delete that user okay. So base URL and endpoint is user and suppose with 21 the user that has id 21 i want to delete that so i will put here delete call request entity string all 
everything other thing should be same it is written type is string only so response body and go ahead and run this and see if it is deleted or not yeah rest template information 200 okay we got it and reading this status 200 user with id 21 deleted if i go ahead and try to get this id user with 21 there should be no result for this okay i hit this and this yeah i got it because there is nothing like this user 21 if i hit 22 i get this one but 21 is deleted that is why we are not getting that one okay and so we have demo i have demonstrated all one get put post with exchange methods okay so next what is next we are going to see exchange we are done so next we are going to see get for entity and post for entity methods in the next video that should also be fairly easy if the basic things are clear because our purpose our goal is same to make the get put post delete call to the external third party we have done already with the exchange method so get for entity is same but we see we will see what the difference it has with exchange one in the next video okay so till then you play around with this exchange by changing the return type and all that all everything that is coming into your mind you play around this and if you find any issue in executing this and any doubt you put that in comment section i'll be happy to help you out okay so you take care and enjoy i'll see you in the next video bye bye